News for Jax is taking a closer look at a statement from Florida's Surgeon General. Twitter flagged the Florida Department of Health's new anti-vaccine guidance as misinformation. Florida's Surgeon General Joseph Latipo is recommending men between the ages of 18 and 39 not get the COVID-19 vaccine, citing an increased high risk of cardiac-related death. Tarek ran this through our trust index for us and joins us with what he found. Tarek? Well, you know what? Twitter isn't the only one weighing in on this guidance from Florida Surgeon General. The Food and Drug Administration is also criticizing the data. We took this new guidance to the president of the Duval County Medical Society Foundation, who says that the state's analysis lacks key elements to make it credible. Florida will not be silent on the truth. It's a tweet from Florida Surgeon General Joseph Latipo, whose new guidance recommends against the COVID-19 vaccine for men ages 18 to 39 years old. According to the Florida Department of Health, their analysis found there's an 84 percent increase in relative incidence of cardiac related deaths within 28 days following getting the mRNA vaccine. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is rebuking the Florida Surgeon General's guidance in a statement of their own saying, this decision is flawed and a far cry from the science. COVID-19 vaccines have been proven safe and effective and severe adverse reactions are rare. State officials say they came to their conclusion on the guidance based on cross-referencing data from the state's reportable disease repository, the Florida State Health Online Tracking System, and death records. They analyzed this data from December 2020 through June of 2022. I think it's important to keep in mind that his statement was based on very, very limited data. Duval County's president of the Medical Society Foundation, Sunil Joshi, says he understands why the state's guidance is being questioned and criticized. He says state officials didn't publish the author of the analysis, and the guidance wasn't reviewed by any peers. Methodology typically included in scientific studies. This was basically data that was looked at after looking at death certificates and then going backwards in time to see who received the vaccine and who did not. Um, and by listing things such as cardiac death without specifying what was actually happening, um, doesn't really give us a lot of information. Joshi says cardiac death is listed frequently on Florida death certificates and doesn't definitively mean the death was the result of COVID-19 or myocarditis, which is the inflammation of the heart muscle. Joshi says it is important for men ages 18 to 39 to consult with their doctor before getting vaccinated, but he's still accusing Florida Surgeon General of spreading disinformation. There's a big, big difference between misinformation and disinformation. Okay, so misinformation is when there's a bunch of stuff out there that may not be accurate and people are reading it. Disinformation is when you are taking in misinformation and purposely using it um, in a way uh, to, to you know, promote a certain point of view that may in fact hurt the people that you're discussing it with. So News for Jacks reached out to the Florida Department of Health asking who the author of this analysis is. Why wasn't it peer reviewed? We also asked the Surgeon General for a response about the allegation of disinformation and we are waiting to hear back. So after reviewing statements from the U.S. Health and Human Services and a local medical expert, the News for Jack's Trust Index team rates this new guidance from the state that men 18 through 39 should not get the vaccine as be careful. Medical experts say there's a small risk of heart conditions following vaccinations, but not to the extent that this new guidance suggests. Joy? Tarek, thanks.